Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 of the most violent battles in history. 6,000 incendiaries and 50 high explosive bombs caused extensive damage to the south of the city and destroyed the main food warehouses. For this list, we're looking at the most vicious battles ever fought. Any history buffs out there have other suggestions? Let us know in the comments. The Battle of Cannae, the Second Punic Wars. We'll pitch our forces there on that bank. We'll be protected by the river on our right and the hills on our left. There'll be no chance of a surprise attack. And this cavalry won't be able to get round behind us. For nearly 2,000 years, the Battle of Cannae from the Punic Wars has fascinated historians. In 216 BC, the Roman military was the European master of war. Yet Carthage's Hannibal effected one of the most complete defeats in military history upon Rome's legions. Outnumbered, Hannibal used a pincer movement to envelop 86,000 Roman legionnaires and absolutely massacred them. Only 14,000 escaped, the rest killed or captured. The battle created shockwaves throughout the Roman Empire. Fearing disfavor with the gods, the Romans resorted to human sacrifice. Thanks to this and other defeats, Rome had lost one out of every five males of military age. Cream of military and political leadership completely wiped out in a single day. A victory greater than that of Alexander or any hero who walked this earth before me. It took another 14 years of bitter fighting for the Romans to ultimately defeat Hannibal. The Battle of Okinawa, aka Operation Iceberg, World War II. Survivors of the Battle of Okinawa called it the Typhoon of Steel. In April 1945, the Allies successfully launched the largest amphibious assault in the Pacific during the Second World War, but at great cost. At the end of the 82-day battle, between 84,166 and 117,000 Imperial soldiers were killed and 50,000 on the Allied side. What also sets this fight apart, however, was the toll on the civilian population. In the years following the war, more and more reports came out about the indiscriminate killing of indigenous Okinawans committed by both sides. The Japanese convinced many to take their own lives by claiming that the Americans would do worse. Some estimates have the island losing half of its pre-war population of 300,000. The Siege of Leningrad, World War II. Although all German hopes of capturing Leningrad were now dashed, the Soviets themselves had sustained over 110,000 casualties. The siege of Leningrad lasted for 872 miserable, blood-soaked days. From September 8, 1941 to January 27, 1944, the city's capture was one of the prime objectives of the Nazis' Operation Barbarossa. Hitler wanted to destroy the city and give the land to his allies, the Finns. They looted and razed cultural landmarks and buildings. However, fierce resistance stopped the Axis forces in their tracks. They've just gone 900 miles, and they are almost to Leningrad, and they're down to one motorized formation. Unfortunately, while the Soviets managed to resupply where they could, starvation ran rampant. Many modern scholars consider the siege a genocide. Over a million soldiers were killed, and over a million civilians. The Battle of the Somme, World War I. This battle is still remembered bitterly to this day. A combined force of British and French soldiers intended to achieve a swift and decisive victory over the Germans in France in the summer of 1916. They bombarded the German position for a week with artillery. As our infantry advanced, down came a perfect wall of explosive along the front benches of my brigade and the 93rd. It was the most frightful artillery display that I'd seen. Thinking the enemy softened, they launched a frontal attack. But the Germans were still comfortably entrenched. In a single day, 20,000 British soldiers were killed and twice that wounded. For 141 days, both sides slugged it out in the mud, blood, and trenches. By the time that weather necessitated a pause in military operations, little ground had been gained and one million men were dead. The Somme is remembered for its futility and massive loss of life. By November the 18th, the Battle of the Somme was over. The Allies had advanced up to six miles. Each mile had been bought by over 100,000 casualties. 
The Battle of Stalingrad, World War II. The Battle of Stalingrad was the turning point on the Eastern Front. From August 23, 1942 to February 2, 1943, a combined force of Germans, Italians, Romanians, and Croatians fought desperately to seize the city. Stalingrad had strategic significance as an industrial and transport hub, but the stakes were also ideological, given the city's importance to its namesake, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. The battle was fought street by street, sometimes even hand to hand. Germany's inability to resupply so deep in enemy territory proved too much. In February of 1943, the German 6th Army surrendered. The casualties were enormous, roughly 1.1 million on the Soviet side and 800,000 on the Axis side. The ground was littered with corpses and decimated German war machines. And the endless columns of hundreds of thousands of German prisoners. It is an unforgettable day of hope for our motherland. For the people of the Soviet Operation Ichigo, the Second Sino-Japanese War. Operation Ichigo was a major campaign in both the Second Sino-Japanese War and the Pacific Theater of World War II. An army of half a million Japanese invaded Southeast China. <laughs> Japan had several goals. They wanted to destroy air bases being used by American bombers, topple the Chinese governments, and avoid American submarines in the South China Sea. They were successful on all counts, pushing viciously for eight straight months from April 19th to December 31st, 1944. Still, it was something of a Pyrrhic victory. Prime Minister Tojo resigned in disgrace due to military setbacks, U.S. military capabilities were not hindered, and communist Chinese guerrillas coalesced power. The Chinese suffered half a million casualties, while the Japanese lost 100,000 men and large quantities of material. The Battle of Berlin, World War II. Oh, one more, you show sure? Yeah. After a long and costly war, Joseph Stalin wreaked bloody vengeance on Germany in April of 1945. The Red Army brought 2.5 million Russian and Polish soldiers to bear against the remnants of the Wehrmacht. The German defense forces, supplemented by police and Hitler youth, numbered approximately 750,000. For two weeks, the Soviets rained destruction on Berlin as they surrounded the city. <laughs> Street-to-street street and house-to-house house combat lasted for days. The entire defense force was captured, wounded, or killed. Hitler destroyed some of the city's infrastructure and food supply before perishing. 22,000 civilians were killed as their city was torn to pieces. The Battle of Dnieper, World War II. The Battle of Dnieper was one of the most massive military operations of World War II. The front was 870 miles long, with almost 4 million troops involved in combat. Over four months from August 26th to December 23rd, 1943, the Red Army bitterly clashed with the Wehrmacht and Romanian forces. At stake was control over the east bank of the Dnieper River and the Eastern Front. Both sides launched attacks and counterattacks by air, land, and on makeshift rafts. After losing 372,000 soldiers to death, injuries, disease, desertion, or capture, the Germans retreated. The Soviet casualties, even in victory, were staggering. 2.2 million wounded or sick, and 760,000 killed or missing. The Brusilov Offensive, aka the June Advance, World War I. In March 1916, Russia suffered a disastrous defeat during the Lake Narich Offensive against the Germans. General Alexei Brusilov wanted to turn that around. Desperate for a victory, the general begged his superiors to let him lead an attack. In June, Brusilov took 61 divisions, 1.7 million men, to present-day Ukraine. He waged a bloody three-month campaign against a combined force of Germans, Austro-Hungarians, and Ottomans. The enemy was not prepared for a well-conceived attack and suffered terribly. The Russians eventually ran out of steam, but succeeded in loosening Germany's grip in the West. 
At the end of the battle, the total casualties were somewhere between 1.2 and 1.9 million. The Russian army and Austro-Hungarians were effectively crippled for the rest of the war. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The Siege of Baghdad Mongol invasions. In 1258, the Abbasid Caliphate was at the height of its golden age. It ended when Hulagu Khan, grandson of Genghis, laid siege to their capital Baghdad from January 29th to February 10th. The Caliph, unimpressed by the horde of over 100,000, dared the Khan to do his worst. Hulagu obliged. We have searched all Baghdad. The Caliph has escaped. Find him every day until he dies. The Mongols pummeled the walls with catapults and conquered some of the defenses. The Caliph tried to negotiate, but Khan murdered 3,000 envoys. The next week was one of the most violent in human history. The Mongols slaughtered hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children. Accounts claim that the Tigris ran black with the ink of destroyed knowledge and red with blood. The numbers are debated, but historians believe the Mongols killed between 250,000 to 2 million people. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.